fast it up. Good morning to the officers of the newly formed Blockchain Council of the Philippines and everyone who is here today. I'm excited to be all to be all with you of learning about the amazing possibilities of this generation can offer about the web. Web 3.0 is no longer around the corner, but it is here and now. Web 3.0, as I've been told almost every week, somewhere in the world, there's a Web 3 conference happening at this moment. That is not hard to imagine. As a McKinsey study suggested, leaders must understand Web 3 in order for them to remain competitive. The news media, not only in the Philippines, but in many countries as well, lag behind other sectors and industries, like finance and fashion, in embracing Web3. As of now, news media in most parts of the world is still in the reporting outside looking in mode. And yet, news media is not only a sector or an industry, but rather, more importantly, an institution that has been with us since humanity saw the need for information in our daily lives. News media enables a shared reality we can create to stability. Shared reality enables shared values, even with differing ideas and opinions in this space. Communities, even if diverse, cannot thrive without shared reality and values. News media also provides the marketplace of ideas which can be better expressed and spread in Web3. There are some, some media entities that have forayed into Web3 through NFTs and are bravely exploring the possibilities of this new space, opening doors for us who are at the start of this journey. For the Philstar Media Group, our first step is what we are excitedly sharing with you. Multiverse.ph, the country's first of its kind mainstream news site about Web3, cryptocurrencies, NFTs, metaverse, gaming, decentralized finance, fintech, and of course, blockchain, which will have its full-scale launch in January 2023. The news site will be run by our veteran and award-winning journalists from the Star Media Group, that includes the Philippine Star and Business World, with decades of experience in covering businesses, finance, security, and politics. Yes, of course, there will be politics in Web3. Entering Web3 may take a little adjustment for the country's news media, which must keep up with technology to remain effective communicators and disseminators of information. I think it's the newness of Web3 rather than the expense that is contributing to the hesitation of news media publishers in this regard. But as you have been hearing in this conference, the infrastructure is already there. The mission remains the same, but we have been excited at the opportunities at, cost or at customization and personalization of news. Thus, Web3 adoption by news media should not only be a business-driven purpose, but shaped to better serve customers, making reports even more experiential. By staying relevant, we can thrive, grow, and evolve in this new age of the web. With the Philippines as the world's social media capital, it is undeniable that Filipinos are fast adopters of this technology. We should neither be confined nor concentrate on being consumers of social media or viral posts. With Web 3.0, we can create innovative and interactive content with value that goes up over time. Being in the business of creating and creating content, news companies are in a, in a unique position to leverage on Web 3. The only question from this moment on for us in media is simple. Do we wait for the change to affect us, or do we affect the future and initiate change ahead of us? With multiverse.ph, our journey begins with full speed now.
We are at the cusp of another digital revolution. New technology is changing the way we work, communicate, and connect on the internet. Undeniably, Web 3.0 is here and now. This is the future. Web 3 means ito yung ano ngayon, yung decentralized. So Web 1 is yung internet, yung read and write only. And then yung Web 2, yan yung mga social media. And people actually, merong may ari nung, ng information mo. But in Web 3, you own your own. So yung assets mo, yung pictures mo, yung videos mo, sa'yo lahat yun. Nasa isang chain siya, which is the blockchain, because it's not actually just about cryptocurrency, it's also about everything, your everyday life. From the documents, to agriculture, healthcare, lahat yan, it will involve blockchain. Web 3.0 is immersive. It's you in a form of avatar where you can shop, play, and do business. That's Web 3.0, it's an immersive way of doing community and socialization. But we need to understand this, this is also AR, XR, VR, AI, 5G. All of these technologies are at a certain advancement where now they can play together, they can work together. But with so many developments taking place, we need to find the right information as we move forward. In its commitment to keep the public always updated with news that matters every day, the Philstar Media Group is introducing the newest web portal that meets the challenge of the future, today. Multiverse.ph Multiverse.ph is creating a universe of information featuring the latest and most important news within Web 3.0. This web portal will be your partner in discovering accurate news that is essential to making the decisions that enable you to propel towards the future so that we can be ready to seize the advantages of this major shift. 3.0 empowers every user, not just to create content from a creative side, but also from an economical side of it. You know, you create, get to create your own brand and you get to, you know, leverage it financially. I think, that, I think the Philippines has got a phenomenal opportunity here to grasp the next generation of technology. And these young people should really take the opportunity to educate themselves and grasp the careers that are gonna be presenting themselves to develop their own future life and help support their families. What I think people can understand to make it easy and not scary is not how can I switch everything I'm doing, I think it's how can you implement some things to your business. How can you learn a new skill and start implementing that in your current job or start learning that skill to get a future job? Because I really feel that almost every industry is going to be impacted some way. Um, we are already being tapped for a lot of these uh, offshore jobs or even like IT jobs and I, I believe that uh, there is a lot of opportunity for our people to get into this space. We are also we also have like great startup founders that are waiting to be funded. And it starts with educating people, letting them understand what blockchain technology can bring. So we know for a fact that these innovations or these technologies would really help propel the Philippines' vision in terms of having to promote a robust digital economy. And these technologies as well are the tools by which we are using to further push our advocacy towards uh, greater financial inclusion. And if we are going to do this right, and if we are really able to follow through the Web3 ethos and the Web3 concept, then you are also able to distribute wealth and value. And what we've been saying is that we always aspire or push for uh, continuous innovation. So we, say, we always say yes to innovation and no to speculation. On a global scale, we feel the change upon us, especially here in the Philippines. Opportunity arises. Are you ready to grasp its potential? In the gaming world, Philippines is advanced. They know how to do this. They swap cards and they swap you know, gaming points, which is convertible already to monetary value. So. If we say, can we adopt? We have 
one of the biggest in terms of number of hours we, we spend on the phone. We're one of the biggest in terms of using TikTok, in, in terms of using Facebook. In short, Filipinos are generally digital. So the adoption is going to be very quick if they only know the advantages of it. We saw the potential of a lot of Filipinos going to that space with very less friction. It's like very innate for them to learn this technology. As we, we've had our first taste with NFTs already. For me, I, began also, I also bought some axes and I was trying to experiment. And you begin to realize, no, I did that not because I like games like these, but because we see that every jeepney driver and every, and, and, and every security guard is just you buying axes on their own. They're becoming what they call scholars. And whether Axie was successful or not, what we saw was that every Filipino, given that opportunity, can adapt very quickly. I see massive opportunity in the Philippines uh, for uh, digitalization of processes, within, not only within government, but within enterprises as well and to help support the digitalization of these processes. You're going to need people to be able to develop the applications and to support those applications as they're being used. And what better place to do that than with the Filipino people themselves? So we would like to help the Philippines, the Philippine government, to get the young people educated and really further themselves, further the country with the adoption of this technology. Multiverse.ph will be your main source of relevant news when it comes to blockchain, fintech, gaming, NFTs, cryptocurrency, AI, and the metaverse. As each grow in importance and get infused in the way we live, it has everything you need as the Philippines enters this exciting new phase in its digitalization. And this is so important because um, we are moving ahead and this is the way of the future. There's no way of stopping it. So it's either you will be behind like the internet in 1990s or you want to go with the wave and learn and making sure that you're aware. And if you're um, you entrepreneurs, up, you, you don't want to be disrupted and lo lost money because you're not staying up to the technology. But it's not about the hype. Eh? If you know about it and if you know the, the basics or the, how it operates, paano siya, lahat lahat, then you would know how to invest wisely, how to start wisely sa, ano, sa Web3 and sa investments mo. Equip yourself with the right education so that um, you will be equipped for the future. In, in, in the year 2000, we were the tech capital. We were the BPO capital of the world. And in 2012, we were the social media capital of the world. Clearly, we can become the blockchain capital at the very least of Asia. The cards are already there. We just have to take it. So if we are able to do that, we can actually help our country. We are very lucky that our government is very open-minded about this technology. Because of that, we will see more investments coming in, more companies being formed, right? And we have to be ready to embrace, because what we always say, right? Opportunity only comes when you are ready, right? If you, you have to maximize it. Multiverse.ph will be your guide in navigating the ever-changing and actively accelerating landscape of the web. Featuring experts, opinion leaders, and seasoned editors, you can expect only the most essential stories day after day, locally and from around the world. Uh, our intent in creating this website is really to get to know about the new technologies that could have an impact into our lives, our daily lives, and into our, uh, the different businesses and how we can uh, further um, embrace these new technologies that would have a better effect on how we do things. Okay, I invite everyone to check out multiverse.ph, a new website dedicated for the next generation of technologies. Anything about Web 3.0, NFTs, blockchain, cryptocurrencies, and anything that you're scared about, you better know through multiverse.ph. Start your virtual journey with multiverse.ph. So there you have it. To the blockchain community, you now have a platform that you can help. We can help you grow the community here in the Philippines. And come and talk to us. Good morning and thank you. Blockchain Week. See you next year.